Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video guys. Uh, we'll show you how to remove and replace radiator on BMW 3 Series between year 2005 and year 2013 guys. This should cover generation E90, E91, E92, E93 guys. This is the radiator step with us. We'll explain everything that needs to be done. So uh, guys, another thing. Let me introduce you to the channel. Every car we get at the shop, you probably already know that we make more than 200 free repair videos specifically on BMW 3 Series will have close to four, 500 videos. Why? Because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need guys in return, please subscribe to the channel and like the video so we can keep providing that free information to you. Uh, if you need to buy a new radiator, any parts, tools that we use, check out the links will be shared in the description of the video below. So, uh, first step guys, okay, will be to drain the cooling system. You have to drain your cooling system. For any of you that do not know how to do that, we have the video on the channel, how to drain cooling system, and uh, check it out. I will try to put the link in the description of the video below, but if for some reason you don't see it guys, okay, just search for how to drain the coolant, okay, on BMW E90, E91, 92, 93. So let's go ahead and start on it now. So in order guys, okay, to get to the radiator, okay, or the condenser, uh, we'll first need to remove the cooling fan. Okay, we'll need to disconnect that line right here, coolant line that goes to over here. So first we'll need to drain the coolant. Uh, uh, we have guys the complete video on the channel how to drain coolant on this BMW and I will try to put the link in the description of the video below. So please guys check it out how to drain coolant on B BMW E90, E91, 92 or 93. So check it out. Once we drain the coolant guys, okay, we can continue with the next step. So. Now we're going to remove that air duct on the front. Okay, we have one screw with a few of screwdriver that we need to remove on this side. We're supposed to have one more here, but ours, guys, is missing. Okay, on one side. So we need to get a different screwdriver, a smaller screwdriver. Uh, we will we'll need to remove two clips right here, one over there and one right here. And uh, once we remove those clips, okay, we should be able to actually pull that thing. Okay, pull that thing out. So let's see if it's going to happen now. Okay, that screw is coming out now, perfect. Now, let's see what else we need to do. Just two more clips here. Well, we don't even need to remove the ones on the phone, just disconnect that thing. Okay, and let's see. Yep, it came out, so perfect. Okay, we don't need to even worry about it, guys. Okay, removing that piece for now. So as you can see, radiator fan, cooling fan right here. After that, you have the radiator. And past that point, you have the condenser. So uh, since we'll be working on the radiator fan now, guys, it's super, okay, super dangerous uh, because it can turn on anytime, okay, without notice. So you have two options, but I'll recommend one of them. Disconnect your car battery, guys, before you continue, okay? Because if you put your fingers here and it turns on, you you take your fingers off, guys. That thing is super powerful. Disconnect the car battery. On modern cars, it really matters how you disconnect the car battery. Which terminal you disconnect first, positive or negative? If you don't know how, guys, to do that, we have video on the channel that explains that, which one to disconnect first and which one, which terminal to reconnect first. So check out the link. I'll try to put it in the description of the video below. The other option is to disconnect, actually, the, the fan from right here, okay, you will have two, okay, two clips that you need to push. Okay, one is stuck on the other side. Okay, it is coming out, but believe me, that thing, that thing is strong. Okay, disconnected. That way, uh, the fan cannot get a power supply. And we'll need to disconnect it anyways, but do it do it at first, guys, so you don't need to, okay, you don't need to worry about something happening. Let's go ahead and disconnect the little holes right here. Okay, you need to lift that spring up. When you lift it up, careful, guys. Okay, it will be, it will be stuck. So be careful when you pull too much, not to release all of a sudden, and you can crack it easily. One clamp right there. Okay, we hope that it doesn't Okay, it doesn't turn on the other side, but we were able to spin it with our fingers Okay, now we have to be extremely careful if you put too much pressure you can break Okay, that uh, feeding right here. So twist it a little bit left and right 
okay straight and pull out and this house comes out if you need, if you break it guys i'll try to put the link in the description of the video below where you can actually buy that house from uh, because that's a very very common problem okay and the upper radiator hose right here as well that could happen guys so now we're going to go on the left side and we're going to disconnect okay that cable for the uh, sensor that actually activates the radiator fan on the uh, lower radiator hose guys okay right there lower radiator hose we need to uh, get that thing out so torx 20 i think okay let me see if it's a 20 yep torx 20 start looking bit let me focus show you what it looks like all the tools and parts that we use we'll share the links in the description of the video below guys it could be even 25 maybe 25 Torx 25 guys so we need to definitely okay uh, remove that screw we have a couple of clips so far that we need to release i will show you where those are and uh, we should be okay we should be getting close if you get a ratchet it may be a little bit more convenient because it will be shorter so okay perfect it came out you can see just like that so now guys right here this is your radiator fan and if you come on the right side okay there is one clip that you need to release okay this clip okay let me focus one second this clip okay i'm still trying to focus right here you pry that way and you lift the fan up at the same time careful not to break your upper radiator holes okay and let's see if it's going to come out or the hose is in the way so we need to check it out now it will be down there okay uh, i'm trying to actually zoom in a little bit to show you okay and it will be attached to the uh, radiator fan guys so we'll need to jack the car up we're going to put jack stands we'll go underneath okay and uh, we'll see what exactly is holding it in place so we can remove it so we're going to go underneath on the driver's side okay and okay perfect this is guys the one i'm talking about okay you can see how it attaches to the radiator fan some cars will have that some will not so you have to guys okay go ahead and remove that bolt okay with a 10 millimeter socket it's actually a screw it's not about it's a screw perfect okay now it's loose on this side okay and the fan you can see it pushes up and it should come out at that point i think with no problem so let's let's check this thing out we have to be careful because if you push too hard okay you can break the upper radiator hose right here so this is where we should be very careful guys very very careful you kind of like need to maneuver a little bit left right if it cannot come out we'll have to disconnect the holes here so we'll see okay how that's going to happen now because okay it's hitting a little bit on this side so we might need to remove the upper radiator hose we'll check in a second or we need to disconnect the sensor that actually activates the radiator fan okay right right there let's give it one more shot okay it's going to come on this side nothing's holding on this side now okay perfect radiator fan came out okay you can see just like that now guys there is a there is a way to remove and replace or to remove the condenser and the radiator at the same time which one will be a little bit easier but there is a way to actually i think remove the radiator only and the condenser stays in the car and then you can remove the condenser now we're going to go the long route and show you how to remove the radiator first and then the condenser uh, but uh, if you need to guys see how to do the whole thing okay we will explain that as well but uh, we'll need to remove the air filter box it's a little bit in the way 10 millimeter socket let's just go ahead and remove two, two bolts here okay we need to actually disconnect the hose okay for the mass airflow sensor on the back side just a clamp that we're getting loose 
Okay, and it actually spun a little bit. We need to disconnect there. Okay, the uh, this is the wiring for the muff sensor. Okay, so disconnect that one. This box, when the hose comes out, the whole box should be able to pull out of there. Okay, and you can see how much room we can get that way now. Okay, and we can definitely visualize things a little bit better. Always cover your holes here because uh, now guys, if you drop something and you don't know about it, it's going to end up going in the engine and it will severely damage your engine. So you want to avoid that guys and be as careful as you can. So let's go ahead and continue now. So we need to go ahead and remove the upper radiator hose. Okay, right here, that will be the next step, upper radiator hose. Then we need to uh, actually disconnect the lower radiator hose. Okay, and you will have two of those, one here, one on the other side. Okay, right there, we need to disconnect both. And uh, here, guys, okay, let me explain these hoses, how you do it. Okay, you can see that clamp. Okay, that metal clamp, just go ahead. Okay, pull it up like that. Now those things will be stuck, guys. So, okay, you have to just pry it out, but believe me, that thing will be stuck, guys, big time. So, we will jiggle it a little bit and it will come out. I need to get it with the other hand, okay? Let me see if somebody can hold the camera for a second and I think I'll be able to pull that thing out. Okay. Perfect. This one is, is out, you can see. So we need to do the same thing to that hose, okay, right here. Okay, let me see if I can get this one. Ah, I push the clip back in. And what I'll do, I'll just remove that clip all the way later. We'll reinstall it, so. Okay. <coughs> and this is stuck and I don't want to pry too much on the radiator. Because you can easily break it. And we did leak some coolant out guys. So let's get something, okay, to fix our mess now. So now we have one more on the bottom guys, okay, uh, with the same kind of thing. So we just need to disconnect this one now guys, okay, I have it loose, okay, but I need to pull it out somehow. So. Let me see, okay, how that's going to work out. Okay, if I can. Get it without breaking the radiator. So, we guys got that hose loose, I'll show you in one second, but first uh, we just pushed it back in, so uh, coolant is coming out. Okay, and we don't wanna make more of a mess. We need to disconnect one hose, okay, right here that uh, plugs in to the radiator, okay, you can see this one. So we'll go ahead, uh, actually disconnect this one and we'll be ready with all the hoses after that. So, okay, let's see what exactly we need here, okay, to disconnect this one now. So if you come to right here, I'll be able to show you, okay, this is, uh, okay, I'm trying to get a little bit of light. Okay, the screw is right there, guys. The screw, and it's Torx 25. Torx 25 star looking bit. We'll need to get a ratchet with a short socket and we'll go ahead, okay, get that one loose. We we'll have uh, coolant out, leaking. Uh, coolant is very dangerous for you guys, so always use gloves, always use protection, high protection. And if you get some on your skin, clean it immediately, guys. So, if you need to buy any tools and parts, we'll have the links in the description of the video below, as I said. Torx 25, okay, we need to get now. Let's see, yep, right there, that's what it looks like. So I will video from top and one person will go underneath to actually start taking this thing off. Once you remove the whole bolt, okay, the holes will come loose, guys. So 
Okay, we will explain as we go. Okay, you can see how the screw is coming out. Perfect. So we go with gently guys, not to break anything. Pull it out, let the coolant drain. You won't have much, but you always have some in the radiator. So let it drain. Okay, and once it's done on this side, we'll come to this side and we'll actually remove these two hoses. Everything's pretty loosened. And we finally got them out. It took a little bit of time. The bottom one, what we did, one person with a screwdriver barely pried a little bit while I was pulling on it. But be careful because your radiator can break super easy, guys. Those hoses, they get stuck so much to the point that sometimes you will break the radiator, no matter what you do. So, uh, we'll guys put link in the description of the video below where we got our radiator from. This is a new radiator that we installed last uh, 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 last season and uh, new radiator, new condenser. Links will be in the description of the video below. So, we'll let it drain and we'll continue. Okay, so let's go ahead and remove the hoses. Gloves on. Top one now. Okay, we won't have much. We'll have some in the hose, so later we need to drain the hose, guys. Okay, perfect. So far, okay, you can see everything is loose. We're just draining the coolant out of the radiator. So, now guys, on top, while it's draining, okay, we're going to just leave it like that. While everything is draining, okay, we have two screws that we need to remove on top with the Torx 25, the one that we already used underneath, okay, with the ratchet. We have two of them, one on this side, okay, one screw right here, and one on the other side, just like this one. So we'll go ahead and remove these two guys. Okay, right there. It's coming guys, it's coming. So let's see if we can go ahead and remove it all that way. Who guys have videos on the engine, on the transmission, on that thing, on quite a few things. So quite a bit will come guys. Okay, we're removing now the one on the other side. You can see it's in the corner right there. Perfect. Now, uh, let's see guys what else we have actually holding that radiator. Because it doesn't seem that it's much guys. Okay, on this side it came loose, it lifts up a little bit. It comes out and it lifts up. So, on here we have one clip I believe. Okay, it's, but it looks like it just needs to come back somehow on this side and it doesn't want to. It's like it's getting st stuck here. So let's do a little bit of messing with it and see what exactly it is. So, we're going to remove the upper radiator hose because it's uh, pushing quite a bit on the radiator. Okay, so we'll remove the clamp too. Now, you just grab it guys. Okay, and it comes out. We can flip it on the side there. Okay, usually they come out a little bit easier from the aluminum housing than the plastic housing. Now that radiator, okay, it comes out. Okay, it's stuck on the hose there. Okay, give me one second to come right here. Okay, and see where we're hitting. More coolant coming out. Okay, we're just draining it now, guys. And radiator. 
came out without removing the condenser that way guys you don't need to drain your AC system if you need to remove the radiator only now uh, if you need to re replace the condenser now we'll explain guys okay what needs to be done for that as well you can see just right here but the radiator came out so that's how you guys remove the radiator if you need to purchase a new one we'll have the link in the description of the video below so please check it out if you have any more questions don't hesitate to let us know guys and if you need to see some certain specific video leave a comment below if you guys need any help with that bmw most likely we have the videos on any of our three channels just check them out auto repair guys world mechanics and electrical car repair life guys uh, you can find quite a few electrical videos about that bmw on this channel we'll have uh, all the fuses uh, relays diagnostics engine codes things like that come in there and on auto repair guys it will be mostly the mechanical videos guys and on world mechanics you can find a few more so uh, definitely guys okay we're devoting quite a bit of time to make these videos so we can help you and save you guys as much money as we can so we will appreciate if you give a subscribe and like thank you for watching and see you guys next time